Hello, welcome. My name is Miss Amy. I'm one of the librarians at the Goodnow Library, and I'm so excited that you're joining me for another Tales from Drumlin Farm this week. A special virtual field trip and story time to a very special place, Mass Audubon Drumlin Farm Wildlife Sanctuary. This week, I am back here at Drumlin Farm on Bird Hill, and with me once again, is Miss Beth, our good teacher. Morning. Good morning, our teacher naturalist here at Drumlin Farm. So we're back here on Bird Hill. For those of you who um, joined us for our Captivated by Crow Week, um, you might recognize where we are. And this time we are in front of the Barred Owl Enclosure here on Bird Hill. And I don't know if you all can see, but there is a Barred Owl right there. And uh, my first question to you this week is how many owls are here at Drumlin Farm? Well, we have three barred owls here and we have two owls in the enclosure next to us, but there's owls all around us yes, in the wild. in the wild. So how many different types of owls live here in Massachusetts? There's eight species that can be found in Massachusetts. Some of them don't live here year round. Uh, the snowy owl will migrate down from Canada. Um, we'll see that sometimes in the winter. Okay. We also um, have the sawweed owl. That's just a tiny little tiny owl guy. that will uh, that migrates through in um, October. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Wow. And everybody else. Uh, some of them are hard to find and aren't very common. The, bar, uh, the barred owl is probably our most common owl, um, along with the great horned owl. Okay. Yeah. And how can you tell a barred owl from another owl? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you'll notice that there are white and brown feathers on the owl, and that's, that's called bars. And often on birds, um, if there's a description and it'll say it's a red barred, it's it's the the line the lines, the on, lines the, on the feathers with the feathers, yeah. Because I know there's also barn barn uh, owls. So sometimes I've myself have gotten confused between barn and barred. Right. How do you tell right. those two apart? Yeah. So the barn owl actually looks surprisingly different. Does they it? are much more of a slender owl. They tend to be much lighter in color and have a very distinguished heart oh, shape. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Now that you describe that shape, I instantly can remember what yeah. a barn owl looks yeah. like. So can you tell me where barred owls nest? Yeah, so they are cavity nesters. So okay. they're looking for a nice cozy place inside the tree. But the fun thing about barred owls is that you can make your own cavity really? for them with a a, a bird a, a birdhouse. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. and they will come and nest in your yards, and they're fabulous to have in your yards. In your yards. So. Okay, yeah. so they don't construct their own nest. No, they okay. find. They find. They yeah. find a nice cozy spot to have a nest. Exactly. Do they line their nests with things? You know, they tend not to. Okay. They tend to. Um, just use whatever's there. Whatever's there. Yeah. And right. if there's already been a nest there in previous years or by another bird, okay, it's fabulous. All right. So what is the largest owl in Massachusetts? The largest is the great horned great owl. Horned. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. you have here at Drumlin Farm. We yes, do. Yes, you do. Okay. And now owls are raptors, are mm. they not? They are. Yeah. yeah. Which only means that they hunt that they're hunters and that they're looking for live prey, mice and snakes and, um, you know. Other live critters. Other live yeah. critters. <laughs> yeah, and what other raptors do you have here at Drumlin Farm? So we also have hawks. Hawks, um, okay. Our most common hawk is the red-tailed hawk. Mm -hmm. And that's the hawk that most people see. It's a really, really big bird. Big bird. Really yes, big bird. I see. I see them often yep. with a yeah. red tail. I often see them when I'm driving along the side of the road. I Absolutely. see them up. Right. Yeah. Doesn't that make sense? It's a nice, wide, open area. They're looking for mice. They'll be able to see the right. mouse. They can see far. Mm -hmm. And now this week we are observing owls. 
And the reason we're observing owls is because they are nocturnal animals. Absolutely. Which means they are out at nighttime. Right. Now are hawks nocturnal? They're not. They're not. They're not. Okay. No, nope. they hunt during the day. They hunt mostly using their keen eyesight, whereas owls hunt using their ears mostly. Ears, right. And they can fly silently. They can fly silently. Tell me more about that. How can they fly so silently? Right? It's very, very cool. So um, birds have flight feathers, the front flight feathers. And for owls, those front flight feathers are kind of spread apart, the barbs are spread apart, which makes the wind come through. Oh, so wow. there's less wind resistance. Okay. And so when that, that air comes through, it's, it's quiet, as opposed to the hawk, where it's gonna have a very firm front flight feather, and mm -hmm. so there's gonna, be, there's gonna be more resistance. Oh, wow. And a louder sound. A louder sound. Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm wondering, do you think we might be able to get to see an owl up close? Absolutely. Yeah, what kind of owl can we meet today? Today we're going to meet a barred owl. Okay, a barred owl, perfect. Yeah. And you know what? We, I was wondering if we could talk about what the barred owl says. Can you say it? Okay, I'm going to try, it. everybody. Hoo, 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 hoo. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Lots of people say it's who cooks for you. Who cooks for you all? Yes. Okay, let me try that again. The all at the end. Yeah. How very about nice. you guys? Do you want to try it at home? Oh, I bet you do. I bet you're going to be very good at it. All right, well, let's go meet that barred owl in person. Let's all count together. One, two, three, let's go! And here we are, Miss Beth is bringing over a barred owl so that we can get an up close look at a barred owl. She's coming very slowly and very quietly so that we do not frighten the barred owl. And here they are. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh wow. Look at this barred owl. Uh, how about, how old is this? How old is she? You know? Um, she's pretty old for an owl because she lives, she, she doesn't live in the wild still. Um, so I want to say that she's about 10 years old. About 10 years yeah. old. Yeah. So yeah. she's pretty old. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. Isn't she spectacular? She sure is. So I have a question. Sure. When can you see a barred owl out in, in nature? Yeah, so they are nocturnal, which means that they hunt at night. They are raptors, and that means that they're looking for live prey at night. Um, so they are kind of hard to see, but um, sometimes if you're very, very lucky, you'll see them on tree branches in the middle of the day, the of the but they're day. not really flying around. Right, right, yeah. right. Every now and then at night, you can hear them. Absolutely. And that's They're exciting. Make, that is very excited. Yeah. So the barred owl is our most common owl, and that is the one that you're going to hear the most okay. here in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about the barred owl's superpowers. She has many. She has many. I would say her eyes and her ears are her biggest superpowers. So she hunts actually by hearing the by mouse. Hearing the mouse. Yeah. Not seeing the Not mouse. Not seeing the mouse. I mean, her eyes are amazing. And she can see a long ways. And, and the, the ability to see at night, I think, is a superpower. Yeah. But she can hear mice moving under the snow. Oh my goodness. Or wow. under the leaves. And she can pinpoint exactly, it's called triangulation, exactly where it is. Wow, that is a superpower. Yeah. That is and super some power. owls have one ear that's higher than the other, asymmetrical, so that they can pinpoint two, uh, I don't know, it's like tiny, tiny, down to a minuscule. Uh, point, point where that mouse is. Wow, yeah, that is amazing. It's spectacular. So tell me more about their eyes. Yeah. 
So as you can see, they're huge. They are huge and beautiful. And beautiful. Mm -hmm. But they are also, <clears throat> sorry, they are also <clears throat> fixed in her head. Okay. Yeah, so that only means that she cannot move her eyes side to side like we can. So oh. our uh, superpower is that we can keep our head straight and move our Ooh, eyes. Everybody try that at yeah. home. Can you try that? Keep your eyes straight? So she cannot, but... She has another superpower, which is that she can turn her head 270 degrees. Wow, 270 oh, degrees. Around, she can look over her back. She can even look upside down. Oh wow. Yeah. Upside down. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's because she has uh, 14 bones in her neck. Okay. Yeah, whereas humans have seven. Okay. So we're not nearly as flexible. Not nearly, yeah. No. No, I can only go that that far yeah yeah which is pretty far that is pretty far right right but but i guess i have what's called peripheral vision meaning exactly. that i can see i can go like that with my eyes yeah and she can't do that nope okay nope can't do that. wow so i have a question what is the wingspan mm. of a barred owl okay how far can they spread yeah. their wings Ooh, look at that she's spreading her wings sorry <laughs> <laughs> um so they can spread their wings not they're they're like i want to say they're two two feet okay. but it depends on the kind of owl you know so she's a pretty big owl yes um here in massachusetts we have some owls the sawweed owl that are very tiny uh-huh um or, or the screech owl which is just a little bit bigger yeah all the way up to the great horned owl which are huge right 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 yeah, much so larger she's, owls she's considered a large owl but not uh, not our largest not the largest wow wow oh my goodness thank you so much for bringing her out so that we could see her up close absolutely it was our pleasure fantastic and I think now we should head and find a cozy spot for our story. So let's all count to three. One, two, three, let's go! We've had such fun observing owls today, haven't we? I've learned so much about owls. And wasn't that owl beautiful that we got to see up close? Oh, what a beautiful barred owl. Well, I am excited to share with you one of my favorite stories about owls. This is Owl Babies by Martin Waddell, illustrated by Patrick Benson. Look right here on these end pages. Look at that. I think I'm, we're seeing some feathers. Looks like feathers, kind of like we saw in the barred owl. All right. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah, and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house and sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. It was dark in the woods and they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. There they are, they're looking out. They sat and they thought. All owls think a lot. 
I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Here they are waiting for their mommy. Oh, suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came. Look, there she is. And I bet she's coming very quietly. Yes, soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped and they danced and they bounced up and down on their branch. There she is. What's all the fuss, their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought, all owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah, and I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy, said Bill. The and oh, oh, what a wonderful story. I do, do love this story. Well, I hope that you all are sharing wonderful stories this summer. For those of you participating in the Good Now Library Summer Reading Program, Tales and Tales, I hope that you're keeping good track of your reading. And I hope that you will join us next week when we are going to be curious about cows. See you then. Bye-bye.